When you're learning to weld, the sheer amount of information you need to know can be overwhelming. There's so much terminology to learn and the variables seem infinite. You need to know how to set your equipment for different types of metals, with changes made for variations in thickness, filler material, and the amperage you're using. You might have noticed settings on your welder for AC and DC welding, or maybe you're searching for a first welding machine and can decide between models. Is AC or DC superior? Are we talking about a classic rock crew? Well, we're certainly not discussing a rock band, and neither AC nor DC is necessarily superior. However, they are very different and which one you should choose depends on a variety of factors, which we're going to discuss in this video to help you understand the differences between AC and DC welding. Let's have a look. Overview of AC welding With AC electricity, the electrons switch the direction that they flow, back and forth, 120 times each second. Once you understand this, it makes sense that AC stands for alternating current since the current is always alternating. In most cases, AC is considered to be inferior for welding, so DC is usually the go-to choice. However, this is not always the case. AC welders tend to be cheaper than DC welders. So, for many new welders just starting out, an AC welding machine is more suitable simply based on price. If an AC welder is all you have available, then it's obviously your best choice at the time. AC is also superior choice when welding magnetic materials. The alternating current allows for a steadier arc on magnetic materials specifically, which can help to reduce the arc blow you're likely to experience with a DC welder. You'll also find that AC welding allows for higher temperatures, making it a better choice when welding aluminum. You can also penetrate plate metals deeper with AC welding, so it's a great choice when welds need to be deep, such as in ship building. Even though AC welding has some advantages, there are many reasons why it's not the go-to option for most scenarios. The main issue with AC welding is the continuous alternating of the direction of current. When the current changes direction, there is a brief moment when there's no amperage. This creates far more fluctuation in the arc of an AC welder, which is why DC welding tends to be easier and allows for cleaner welds. Additionally, AC welding produces more splatter, which makes it a poor choice for welding vertically or overhead. More commonly used than AC welding, DC welding is considered to be superior in many regards. DC stands for direct current, meaning that the current is only flowing in one direction, and it flows continuously. This is the type of current you'll find in batteries and low-voltage devices. Even your car utilizes DC electricity. Because DC welding doesn't have that zero amperage moment like AC welding, you get a stabler arc overall. This is why DC welding is easier to control and allows you to create cleaner, smoother welds while producing less batter. Since there's less splatter and mass, you can use DC welding in places that AC isn't a great choice, like when welding overhead. For beginners, DC welding is definitely the better choice. There will be a shorter learning curve, allowing you to produce more attractive welds sooner. But even pros opt for DC welding in most situations. Still, there are some times when DC welding isn't the best choice. Because you're more likely to get arc blow when DC welding, it's not great for working with magnetic materials. DC welding doesn't use the same high temperatures that you'll use when AC welding, so it's not a great choice for welding aluminum that needs the high heat for proper weld adherence. Even though DC is a better choice for beginners, DC welding machines can be prohibitively expensive. This can often steer a beginning welder towards the more affordable AC welding machines, even though they aren't as great of an option for a beginner from a performance standpoint. When comparing AC and DC welding, there is no definitive answer as to which one is better. Each has its strengths and weaknesses. Because of this, each type of welding is a superior option in certain circumstances. If possible, you'd be best served by having a welder that can do both. But if you could only get one, then DC is probably a better bet. It works on a wide range of materials offering a smooth weld with minimal splatter that's easier to use. Just keep in mind that DC welders tend to be more expensive than AC models. Let's end here today. Thanks for watching till the end. Keep watching our videos and leave your comments about what you think of these videos.